guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another idle game tutorial video. This uh, this is episode 25, and today we're going to be doing upgrades for our second planet. Now, your game may be different, or maybe the same as mine, but if you have upgrades, and I'm sure you know what to do. But basically, we're just going to have a few upgrades, such as production and the click, of course, just down to our basics. So this should be a pretty self-explanatory video. Maybe we could do some other things, too. Um, next episode will be soft cap. So since this is like a multiplicative thing, we need to add that soft cap. All right. So let's get rid of our planet screen. All right. So we have our Mars and we're going to have some upgrades. So let's copy our upgrades button from Earth. Paste it into here. And I'm just going to put it right here. And now our... Upgrade screen. Let's see. What does that look like? Can we copy and paste this? Yeah, we can. Okay, so we'll just do that. So I I just copied and pasted the the upgrade screen, and we'll go off of that. So we only need one upgrade. I'm gonna move this out and stretch this to it fits the whole screen because we need to be consistent with that. Okay. Now, I'm not going to make another script, obviously. I mean, we have, yeah, we, we didn't do that for the main, the main game manager, so we'll do that in Mars. So, <clears throat> what we can do is that we can have like a little scroll rect, or actually, you know what, let's do a pop-up. We haven't done any pop-ups yet. So, I'm going to create new empty. I'm going to name it upgrades game object. Okay, let's add an image. Now, you can use whatever image you'd like. I'm just going to use this one that I already have. Just can make it so you can see the Mars coin. And I'm just going to make it uh, anchor to the center. Put our upgrade in here. Um, so, I don't think I've showed you how to use a scroll rect. So, we're going to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. The planet screen. Duh. And if you actually, let's just create a new one. Okay, so we're going to go to UI. And I think we use scroll view. Uh, okay, so we have our scroll view here. But we don't need an image, so let's get rid of that. Just make sure it's stretched to the full thing. Actually, since we don't want the upgrades to crop out of this since our mask, we're just going to move it up to there, up to this little line right there. OK, and we can get rid of our scroll bars. Unless you want them, you can keep them. But I personally don't like the scroll bars. And we can get rid of this viewport, get rid of this mask. It can just be an empty game object. So make sure we have a viewport and our content. Okay. And that last but not least, we just need to add a mask here. So then any of our content, which we're going to drag this upgrade into the content, need to have 0 0.01 alpha. <laughs> it's just a little bit. Unless we have a transparent image. Otherwise, I don't know the solution. But now it, will, it won't move out. See how it kind of cuts it off right there instead of all the way up there, you know? Cool. So our viewport is here. Uh, we have a viewport and content. We don't need we don't need this viewport. We just need content. And then our our viewport becomes our scroll view. There we go. And that should still work, right? Yep. Perfect. It's just less uh, less stuff. Because for some reason Unity makes it a little more complicated than it should be. And in our scroll rect, um, we only want vertical. Uh, scroll so we can go up and down and we can just have a list here cool so what's one of our upgrades it's just going to be the multiply obviously it's not going to be too much so we will call this we can all should we do prefabs just like our achievements I think we should so we're going to do Mars upgrade okay and this is our by max everything is the same except we're just going to do this a little better and more appropriately than the first time we did this um upgrade okay and then we have our progress bar all right now we're in mars so let's make this more red like that cool so let's Stretch this to the edge. And we can make upgrade button like this. Skinnier. Now let's call this 
uh, click power plus 0 0.01. And this will cost, what was it before? Level. So, personally, we don't need, we don't need to display level. Okay. Or what we can do is have this as the level right here. Okay. So, our cost will be one. There. It'll be, it'll be 10 Mars coins. Okay. And I feel like this will work out well. Because we're going to scale this a bit differently than our normal upgrades. Because it's, again, multiplicative. And next episode will be soft cap. So that's basically where you don't want your progress to go insane. Especially in our situation. Why does that stretch? Cool. Okay, and our bimax can go right here. Now we can do a bimax for all of them if we wanted to. So before we resize this, you know what? Actually, let's do a bimax for all. So this will not be in our scroll view. This will be simply on top. And then this button will cover only the progress bar. Oh, nope. The upgrade will... Sorry. The upgrade will only cover these two. And we will just drag those in here. And move it down. So then let's make our scroll view right here. Okay. So this will be a kind of our Bimax uh, area. We can put that up here. Cool. So now it won't go out. This looks awkward. You can add a little tab thing, but that's up to you. I'm not going to do anything about that. I'm just going to let it be. Okay. So. Uh, let's do another. Up oh, yeah. Prefabs. Duh. Okay. So we already have an achievement prefab. So we have our Mars upgrade prefab. We're just going to drag that into our prefabs folder. There we go. Now, the cool thing about prefabs is that you can change all of them at the same time. So if you change the position of this, it will change all of them. And then you can readjust that. All right. So if you change this, if you change this like that, see how it changes that. So now if we copy and paste this and we go into here, even if we go into here, it's the same prefab, right? So if we adjust the size of this and go back, it will change the size of both of them. I think that's pretty cool. It's convenient. So now I gotta go back and fix that. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, all right, we can copy and paste this. And the nice thing is that we can change the text here individually. So if we want to resize this, go ahead. We can do that. But once we make changes to this one, so if we do this and we go in here, we made changes to this. Oh, that didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, that didn't do anything. Oh, shoot, we can't move these outwards. Crap, I didn't want to do that. Okay, well, I'm stupid. You can't undo in a prefab, which is lame. That's, that's yeah, that's, once you go out of it, you can't undo it. So I'm going to, I'm going to unpack this prefab real quick. Because I made a big, I made a big mistake. Okay, so now let's make this prefab again. Okay, let's not do that again. Okay, in that situation, just make a new prefab. Okay, so this one, this upgrade can be gain 0.01% of your Mars coins per second. Okay, we'll do this one. This will be a production one. I think this is going to be a little more pricey since we can get higher, higher up. And what I'm going to try to do eventually is that, I mean, we're using break infinity, so we shouldn't fear of anything at all, but I'm going to have like a little upgrade thing. This, this is, again, this is going to be the soft cap. I'm going to have like uh, a limit thing. So something that's really cool about uh, a game called Synergism is that 
they have a, like a tax thing where if you're making like you know you're growing so fast they tax you which is basically the soft cap that's that's pretty much what it is so we're going to do something like that okay uh, okay let's hop right into the upgrades i think these are the only two i'm going to do today because i am kind of short on time and i got a game to work on um so let's just hop into our mars script all right so we're in our script it's pretty plain right now but we're going to code everything in here that we plan to save, okay? Uh, so we're going to do the same thing. I think we did this in, I don't know what script we did this in, but we're going to make sure we did this efficiently, okay? So I'm going to zoom in because I people complain about how the text is really small. Close that a little bit. Okay, hopefully that's a little better to read. Always add. I don't want an update. Okay, so we're gonna make, I'm gonna scoot this forward. Okay. All right, so we're gonna make two arrays. Also, the reason why my typing is so bad is because I switch between two keyboards every few days. And this one, it's a Corsair keyboard. They're both Corsair, right? But they're just different. Like this is, I swear, I got the same Cherry MX keys but they both feel so different, right? This one, the other one's better, in my opinion. I can type way better there than I can with this one. I always have so many problems typing coding here because there's just two different keyboards. So that's kind of why I'm really inconsistent, I guess. So this will be our Mars upgrade cost. And we're gonna make another big double. Actually, no, this is gonna be an int, int array, Mars upgrade levels, okay? And in our, we're going to make a private void start. In here, we're going to set our costs equal to a new big double two. And our levels is going to be a new int size two. Okay. So we're going to be doing the same thing here. Above or below all this, we're going to have a private array manager mm, it's a private void and down here we're gonna have a public or a private void non array manager because in our player data script we're gonna create variables for this okay so let's do that let's go hop into our player data script and let's go into Mars and Let's have our upgrades. So let's make a new subregion called Mars Upgrades and region. And in here, we're going to have public big double Mars upgrade cost one. We're going to do it two. And then we're going to do it the same thing for levels, except make these an int. Okay just like that and then in Mars in the full reset we're gonna do actually we don't need it we don't need to save costs never scratch that I forgot we're gonna make another sub region called Mars upgrade in here we only need to save level okay and in here we do this get rid of these <clears throat> Wow, that is weird. Okay, we're going to set them both to zero. And now we have our save system set. So the reason why I don't want to do this is because we set the cost in here, in our array manager. So let's do this real quick. So we know the first upgrade cost is 10. And scaling it is going to be quite tricky because, again, this is multiplicative. So we're going to have to scale things a little more severely. So we can do big double dot pow. And I'd say we should double this, maybe more. But again, soft cap will solve this issue later on. Especially when the second upgrade comes into place, we're going to have to scale that a lot. Because 0.01% may not seem a lot, but if it's really cheap, and then, again, that's exponential growth, essentially. <laughs> and yeah, that th remember, this is exponential growth right here. You're getting 0.01% of your mark, your current coins per second, okay? Now, I can, I should do where it, yeah, 
I mean, it's pretty much the same as this, but it's just auto-clicking really fast, or instantly, every frame. So, then in here, we do Mars upgrade levels. And before we do the costs, we want to set levels 0 equal to eth.data. Oh, sorry, it's game.data. Game.data, Mars upgrade level 1. And we do the same thing for the sec the first index. Okay. Same thing for our next upgrade. Uh, except this is going to grow a lot faster. <laughs> I'd say, again, we'll adjust how this, we'll adjust this. So I'm going to make the scale, every, or it's going to multiply it five times every upgrade. So now it'll go 100, 500, 2500, and so on. And now in the non-array manager, every time we buy an upgrade, we have to update the array or the save like that. It's because when we do the upgrades, we do it based on the array. And if it changes the array, it's not going to be affecting the level in the player data. Instead, the player data is going to just re-overwrite the array. Okay. Now, of course, we can do an upgrade based on the non-array. But however, it's not. It's better to do it like this. I have dinner in three five minutes, so this is gonna be a little cut. <laughs> okay, so now we need to do our public void by upgrade, and this is gonna be an int index. Also, we don't have any of the UI yet. I'll do that next after we get the fundamentals done. <clears throat> so in here, this is pretty easy. We just do if game.data.marscoins also in here we can do var data equals game.data and just get rid of these games okay also I forgot we can just get rid of the pow because we have our static break infinity epic double namespace okay so if the coins is greater than upgrade costs at index, then we simply subtract them, and then we get our levels at index, and we add it to one. And then at the end of this, we want to update our non-arrays. Simple as that. We don't need any switch statements, just this, right? And now for our bimax, public void bimax. We just have to go through a for loop. Uh, actually, <clears throat> I forgot. We gotta calculate the costs. Okay, so this is the same thing as what we do here. Is it an upgrade manager or is it in here? Oh wait, do we have an upgrades manager? I totally forgot I'm making that. Wait, automator. What's this? No, that's not in here. Upgrade manager. I forgot that we even have an upgrade manager. Okay. I mean, we can use this. It's the same equation. Oh, it uses this instead. Okay. Well, we could, we should make a, a pretty global method for this in our methods um in our methods script. Let's do that. Let's go to our methods. Okay, so we have our bimax. Oh, okay. That's an issue. Okay. Well, this is based off of here. So let's just. This is based off of our Mars. So we're going to do bimax. And this is going to be our bimax count. Okay. So we have our int index. We have our, so the, the upgrade, now, this is obviously just going to be our upgrade costs, right? We can just do big double array and just do cost, and then we just put in this as a cost like that, right? Oh, this, cost, array. So we can we can do it like this and put it in our methods, right? Should we do that? 
why not? And we have our cost molds. So that's something we also need to kind of be aware of. So we're going to make another float. I can get rid of this comment. We can make another one, cost cost molds. Cost molt. And we don't need, oh, base cost. We do. Yeah, this is the same thing. Okay. So this will be base cost. So we got two more arrays. In here, these are going to be predefined. Uh, new, this is going to be a new float. And let's see, what's our cost molds here? Two and five. Two and five. Okay. And in here, our base costs are going to be 10 and 100. Now we can adjust these whenever we want to. Oh, this is costs. Right. Okay, should look like this right now, right? Okay, so we can do cost molts. So what is this supposed to be? Can this be a float? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do a float array molt. We're gonna do. Or what we can end, what we can do here is replace these costs right here. So this can be B. Oh, this is base cost. So this is B. Okay, we can get rid of that. We have R, which is our cost molds. So that will be R. We can get rid of that. And then K, that's an int. So int array K. Get rid of that. So now we should get some. Oh, yeah. So it's based on the index. Right. So we gotta remember that. So this levels, so what is this, K? Yeah, I did really bad abbreviation here. So this should just be L. I don't know why I did these, but this should be L. Yeah, we'll just keep it as K. But this is basically a ref int K because we need to act or directly edit our biomat or level. So we'll do k plus int n, which this is already an int, so we can just actually no we need to we need to cast it. And our power. So we can get rid of the power. And our Mars coins, uh, we can do currency. If we want to put this in the methods, we're just gonna do currency. So this will be C for currency. And look, we already have that right here. So make sure this is a ref. So we can get rid of that. And we will do C minus equals cost. There we go. So, and then the non array manager. Okay. So, not every single method is going to have this. So, we're going to have our own. Okay. So, just watch. This is going to look confusing at first, but just follow along. So, here, we're going to move this to our method script at the bottom here. Uh, data, game.data. Um, we can get rid of this. Okay, this should be it for the bimax. And now in here, we're gonna call methods dot bimax bimax. Is it a private? Is that why I can't access it? No. Okay, so we have bimax, and we need to put all of our stuff in here. So we need our. Uh, this will run on a for loop. Remember that. So we're gonna start with the first one. And we need our our currency, which is going to be game dot data dot Mars coins. No, we need to make this a ref. Ref. And then we have our base cost, which is going to be base cost at zero index zero. And then we have our mult, which is R. Again, these are terrible names. Please change them as you wish. They're terrible. I don't know why I came up with them. Hopefully they don't confuse you. And make sure K, which is our levels, is our ref as well. Cannot access an... Okay, All right. We gotta make this a static void. Okay. Cool. So this is our 
buy max. Okay. So first it's gonna buy the first upgrade, and then it's gonna try the first the the second upgrade, which is index one. Just like that. Alright, I have to eat dinner. I'll be back after this cut. Alright, I am back. Let's get back to this. So we have our Bimax, but we still need to do the Bimax count. Actually, let's go to our interface. So the Bimax, I'm not going to include this counter here. It's just going to be a Bimax. So we'll just get rid of this. So that means we really don't need this counter at all. Okay? So we can get rid of this. And if we want to include it in the methods, then it's pretty much doing the same thing as this, but replacing the variables. And also, we don't need, looks like we don't need this index here. In some cases, if we use the right here, we could use it, but we don't need that. So we can just get rid of this. And also, this could just be used as like a note, but we have our index right here. All right. So now it'll buy max zero and then one. Okay. So we'll start from top to bottom. You can arrange the order however you'd like. Okay. All right. Also, we should probably just run this twice, actually. Not an array. No, we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. Cool. All right. Uh, another thing here. We can uh, f clean this up a bit. I've done this already in the past, but we can use our arrays in, like, just like we did in our normal upgrade manager, just like that, just to make it look clean. Okay. Cool. So I think this is all done. We just need to actually it's not done we just need to do this so this will ease this is a pretty easy one this is just 0 0.01 times levels at index 0 and we can get rid of the parentheses so every level is another plus 0 0.01 effect okay so all right also remember once this cost mode gets to just remember the coins is doubling each time, each click, right? That's pretty fast. So we kind of just want this. This is why the soft cap is going to be very important in the next video, which will be tomorrow morning. Also, I am, side note, I am publishing my videos on a kind of a schedule, like almost on a daily basis at 6.30 in the morning, mountain time. So I'm not sure what time it is for you, what time that is for you. But just know that these videos are premiered at 6.30 in the morning, mountain time, okay? So if you want are interested in tuning into those, I personally am not really watching those because I don't get up at 6.30 in the morning. But that's just when most of my viewers are pretty much active, which is kind of strange. But, uh, yeah, just just a heads up. All right. And now in the updates, we're going to do data.marscoins plus equals uh, upgrade levels at index 1. So 0.01%. So remember, if we do 1%, that is basically 1 100th. So 0.1% 0 is 0 point, or 1 over 1,000. And then we have 1 over 10,000. Okay. So this upgrade may not seem good at first. We can adjust this to 1% or 0.1%. But just know that 0.01% is 1 over 10,000. Okay. So, uh... You can just do it like this, or you can just have it in decimal form. Either it works, okay? Now, let's just do it decimal form. So, no, this is just 1.01%, per okay? How do you know? Just do times 100, and you get 0 0.01, which that's the percent. Cool. Uh, okay. So Mars coins, we are just going to multiply it by one plus this, okay? And we can actually add it all. We can also add a if if this level is greater than zero, then we're going to do this, okay? Now let's add the user interface. So we got two texts which we're just going to do a text array, and this will be the Mar... No, we, we honestly don't need to have Mars for all of these. We can just do upgrade text, okay? And what else do we have? I think we just have the progress bar, and that's it. Yep, that's it, okay. And we'll add array for the public image, upgrade, fill. 
And remember, we have a smooth for this. So how do we do the smooth? Well, let's go back to our main script. We have a temporary va uh, value in order to successfully do this right here. So we have coins temps or coin or coins temp. So we're just going to copy this method here. So we got methods dot smooth number. Now the coins temp we can easily just do uh, public big double public big double. Actually, we can make this private because we don't really need to access this anywhere else. So private big double um, Mars coins temp. And now this will be accessed only in this script or in this class. And we can do the same thing for that. And the actual value is data.mars coins. So here we go. We got our smooth number ready. And this only needs to be accessed in the UI, which we will do once we're done. Okay. So uh, we don't need to predefine this because we will do that in Unity. So we're going to set, we're going to do upgrade text at index zero. Let's see. Now we can do, oh, why is Unity doing this? This is very annoying. Okay. So let's do a string of the upgrade names. Let's just go up here. We're going to create a public string, and this can be private as well. Uh, private string. Honestly, these can all be private, but I want to be able to see these inside the editor in case we want to edit those. So that's the only reason why I would keep those public. Otherwise, they could be private. So anyways, private string array. And this will be upgrade names. And we're going to set upgrade names is equal to new. Uh, we don't have to put string because we're obviously putting strings in here. So it knows it's a string, right? So we got click power plus, z plus 0.01x. Yep. And then for our second string, we have gain plus 0.01% of your... Mars coins per second. Now I'm just gonna have it like that instead of slash s, because it made it seem like of our current like 0.01 percent of our current Mars per second, Mars coins per second. So we're just gonna do it like that, and that's it. So now we can run this in a for loop. So we could just do for var i is equal to zero, and we're gonna cap it at two. So we'll never hit two because we only have two upgrades. And so that means the max array is one and we don't want to go to two. So we could just set upgrade text at index i dot text is going to be equal to. So we have our level right here. So we can just do that. And inside here we can put curly braces and then we'll just do our levels at index i. Okay, and then we're going to space we have our upgrade names, so we just put that in here and do a new line, which is backslash n, and then we'll have our cost, and that will be at Mars coins. Now, let's do, did I do, is it game.notate, or is it methods.notate? Notation method, yeah, okay. And in here, okay, so that's our y, and for here, we just put the cost, the Mars upgrade costs, at index i. And that's it. Also, we need to we also need to do our fill. So this is gonna be methods dot big double fill, and for our first variable, it's going to be. So we have our so we have two. We have two fills. So we have our actual fill and our smooth fill. Our smooth fill. So our upgrade fill is just going to be data.mars coins, right? That's our actual, that's our x. Our y is going to be data. Dot, or it's not data, it's just costs. Upgrade, Mars upgrade costs at index i. And then for the fill, we need to do ref smooth, not smooth fill, our upgrade fill at index i. And now we need to do the same thing except for 
except with Mars coins temp, and we have our smooth fill at index i. That's it. That's our entire UI. There's our buy upgrade method, our buy max, our array manager. Oh, yeah. We might want to call array manager inside the update method. So what we're missing is our navigation. So we can easily, let's see, what's what's the UI here? Right here. This is all UI right here, all right? So here we can just do if game.nav. Nav, 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 nav. Uh, yeah, for our navigations and then this script, because I forgot to separate it. But we're going to do game.mars. Oh, wait. Okay. So let's check how this navigation is. So we don't have a, a change tab. So let's just get this. Let's grab this real quick. So let's get our... Okay, so let's copy that. Let's put it here. So now these aren't the correct groups, right? So right now we have our upgrades group. So we can just make a new one. Then pretty much our upgrades is our pop-up. So we can toggle everything off in the background, but we really don't need to do that. So our disable all, really, we don't have one yet because there's no like prestige in here. So we're going to put none yet. So that means you don't have to do to type this in yet. But right now we only have an upgrades. So we only want to um, toggle this. But to close it, okay. So this is different because this is a, this is a pop up, right? So let's actually do public void toggle pop up. And then it's gonna string ID. Again, we're gonna need this eventually, so let's just comment this out for now. And we can take this right here. So let's say we have our upgrades, right? We're just gonna set. Let's create this group real quick before I forget. At the top, public. Is it a canvas? We can do canvas. I don't know. It's just going to be a game object because we're not going to create a whole new. Let's do canvas. I can't decide. So this is going to be our upgrades group. Now this is just our pop-up. So we're going to set this. Set active is going to be um, not upgrades.gameobject.activeSelf. So basically if it's true, then we're going to make it false. Okay. That is pretty much it. Now this is just for our pop-ups. We might not have pop-ups for everything. Like for Prestige, we might, or maybe not. We'll have a separate tab. Well, we will see. Okay. Uh, ha, ha, ha. so we have our, we have this. So that means we can go up here, and we can do if upgrade group dot game object dot active self if it's true. But since it's the UI, okay, yeah, we'll just do this. So if it's false. If we don't see it, then we're just going to return. Otherwise, we will return the UI. So let's make a void UI method and throw it all in here. So then we can close this and call UI at the top. Okay? Just like that. What's the problem here? Oh, right. Yeah. We want to put this at the top. Cool. That's it. We have our user interface, which is updated only if the upgrades group is enabled. Otherwise, it will return. Cool. I think we have our entire script done. Okay. Let's get right to it. So another thing I forgot about the prefabs is that we still got to drag everything, right? So let's make a script. Let's go into here. We can take our Mars upgrade and let's make a, cu uh, a custom script. So we can do Mars upgrade. Actually, ah, uh, so now we don't have, you, okay, I'm just not going to do it. The reason why is because we already have our array system all set up, and that would, would kind of require me to kind of redo that. And we already have that, so that's okay. It's all good. So let's go to our Mars script, wherever it is, right here. And we will drag our upgrades group, which is... It's not really an upgrade screen. This is just kind of like the pop-up. Sure. 
that works too. We also need a back button. So we can have a buy max and we can have a close for close window. And in here we will do close. Okay. And we'll put it right next, right there. Cool. So this buy max, okay. Yeah, we will sign all this stuff next. So Mars manager, our upgrades thing is just going to be upgrade screen and our UI right here. We have two upgrades, so we're just going to make the size two. Okay. So we have our upgrade text. What even is the upgrade text? Is that supposed to be the upgrade name? Yeah, that's just supposed to be the upgrade. I kind of, that was kind of a, a vague name, but we will do it with it. We'll deal with it. Okay, so we have our first upgrade, our second one. We have our smooth, smooth, yep, and our background. Actually, is this it? Nope, that's not it. The progress bar is this. Yep, okay. And now we need to assign the buttons. So the upgrade button, we will drag our Mars manager into here. We will do buy upgrade. And this will be zero and this will be one. Cool. So what about buy max? Buy max is the same thing. We got to drag Mars manager and assign buy max. Now I think we are done. Actually, we need we need close. We need to do close and the upgrades button. So let's we'll track bars manager and we'll do toggle pop up. Okay. And this will be labeled as upgrades. Cool. Now if we save it, we can close this. Let's run it. All right, no error so far. What's wrong? I think it's because we're supposed to be in Earth. Yep. All right, so we're in planets currently. Let's go to Mars. Nothing's clicking. That's not good. Okay, I see the issue. The issue here is that we are, for the UI, our Mars coins tech is a, text is updating only when the upgrade panel is open. So if we upgrade... Uh, if we do this, see how we're getting Mars coins now. Okay, so let's fix that. And why does it not say Mars coins? I thought I made it so it said Mars coins. It should say Mars coins. Yeah, like that. And for here, we can just update this UI if... Oops. If game dot Mars or planet. Where is this? Is this is this a uh, planet manager? Right, there's a planet manager. Okay, do I have access to this? Planets dot Mars. Okay, we'll just do game dot planets on Mars. Dot game object dot active self. I hate that set active and active self. I don't like that. I wish it was just dot active. So if it's active, well, I like the invert method. Where if it's not active. No, we don't. We we can't do this anymore. Okay, I forgot because we have another thing down here. So we gotta get rid of this. This only works if it's the last method in the entire thing, or else the rest of won't. The rest of the UI won't update. So we can do it here though because it's at the bottom of the me the. Why did I put this here? I am not paying attention. We can do this here since it's at the bottom of the method, right? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I am just like lost right now. Cool. So that works. We can get. Our, we can just put all of this in this method, and we should be good to go. All right. So good thing we haven't got any errors so far, or no reference stuff like that. We are good. Oh, that's weird. That doesn't look good. I don't remember making it look like that. Wow, I don't remember it being like this <laughs> at all. I thought I fixed all of this. All right, so Mars coins. Yeah, I like that. I like this better. 
Okay. Now this should work. Cool. So we can definitely buy some upgrades. So let's try it. Oh, system.string. Ah, oh, rats. Doesn't work. But let's try this. Yeah, see how fast this is going to get already? Get crazy. This is why we need soft cap. So what about this upgrade? Does this work? Yeah. Oh, so it's actually doing a lot faster. It's because we forgot to add the time dot delta time. So it's just doing it much faster. Approximately 144 times faster than it should be. So what else? It's the the string. Where is the string? I had this issue earlier. Upgrade names. I see. Okay, we gotta do at index i. No, that's not what we want. We want index i. Cool. So now it should display correctly. And we also gotta have the text for this too, because you know what? Let's do that now. Public text Mars click text. Now is this one text? I believe it is. The annoying thing about writer is that you it automatically saves. So if you're not ready for it to update, it just jumps right in. But that's also kind of a safety thing too. All right. So we'll put this down here. This is equal to dollar sign. Click new line backslash n, and we will do. Now I don't expect this to go into the thousands, right? Because that would be kind of crazy. <laughs> Just a few hundred clicks and you'll be in E thousand. So we're just gonna do at, um, colon F two, and in here we will do. Now I don't like copying this. You can just put this here. Obviously, we could make a variable called public. Uh, this is again. This won't be big. But we can just do public double. We can really do float, which is what we should do. You know, let's do a float. Public float, click power, and we can set it equal to this. Oh, we gotta put the F. Put the F in chat. And we'll just put click power here, click power here. Done. And I think that's just Mars coins. Mars coins. Oh, we got an error. Yep. I know why. It's because we forgot to drag this text in. Okay. So yeah. See, this is just crazy because if we do bimax, oh, I like the I like the smooth. See, this gets expensive though, but it looks like it bought way more than it should have. And this this is pretty slow. Is it adding? I guess that's how it is. Yeah, that's all right. See, see, this is the problem with multiplication. Is that, see, we're already at very high numbers, so we're gonna have to add the soft cap. See, we're already at e twenty. So let's use it by more. Oh my gosh! See, now it's double, like almost doubling every single time. This is still very difficult to get, but like once we get enough of these upgrades, this is already, yeah, it's buying way more upgrades than it should. Okay, well, let's take a look at that. Why is it doing this? Okay, so let's compare to this one. So we have B, which is our base cost, All right? We have C, which is our currency. We have float R, which is our cost mult, and we have K, which is our levels. It just seem it just seems like it's adding way more than it should. But the, everything seems the same, so maybe it's our input that's an issue. Okay. Okay, I see. Our equation right here is incorrect because we're doing power to the levels to the levels, right? That's not right. It should be our cost molds. That's why. So it's not the bimax. It was the equation themselves. They're incorrect. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. We're doubling our currency every freaking click. That's crazy. No, I don't want that. 
sure players would love the large numbers, right? But yeah, that should fix that should fix it. So just know this is not ready. Mars is not ready. We need to have soft cap. We need to maintain this exponential growth. Because break infinity can't handle it. And if you're using a doubles for this, yikes. Because once you get to E308, you are done for. You are done for. So let's see. Does this work? Yeah. <laughs> it's still buying more levels than it should, right? It's buying three. Why is it buying three? Because I can only buy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Maybe it's right? I don't know. That's pretty extreme. That's actually, I think that's right. <laughs> wow. And we need to get our Mars coins per second text working. Okay, so let's do this real quick. Just for, just because it's, why not? Mars coins per second text. And we are going to have a temporary variable private big double Mars coins per second and that's just that's basically this mm, okay well this is gonna be kinda weird because we're not adding we're multiplying so let's just take this it's basically game.data.mars coins times times this plus one and I think we don't I think we can just get rid of both of these nope we just need it here alright so I don't know if this is exactly correct yeah this actually seems right and in here we set the text equals to Let's see, what is it? Mars coins per second. Okay. Yikes. Oh, it's definitely, we need our notation method. Without a doubt. And we'll do Mars coins per second. Wow. It's getting kind of freaky. Oh, that's so, it's growing so fast. So this right here. So that's 2.73% per second. If we divide that by 100. So yeah. That's basically, yeah. <laughs> if we let this all night, of course it's going to grow a lot, right? So let's see if this coins per second thing work. That's going to be kind of cool because it's, it's going to grow. What I think the soft cap is going to be, I think it's, oh man. I think I'm going to make it entirely based on the on like a prestige system so basically you got to get the prestige in order to get past a certain limit you know or something like that and i'll probably have another soft cap like as a natural one to prevent it from going crazy you know we can make this be the big one right and remember this is let's check this out let's check out universe real quick Ugh. Is this too big? See, this is incorrect, though. Okay. I think I see the issue. Let's save that. I think that it's the plus one that's the issue. That's why. It should just be without it. If you're enjoying this so far, make sure you leave a like, comment down, anything you want to. If you want suggestions, leave them down below. Subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications. Also, 5,000 subscribers, merch. Not this exact shirt, but something cooler. All right. Seven times. Wow. So once we get to 10 times, every click is an exponent, right? 
Let's get that. Let's get there. Okay. Wow, we're very close. <laughs> this is terrible. Yeah, these need to scale a lot more. There we go. So now we're getting an exponent in every click. And you know what the issue with this is? Let's go to planets. Oh, not bad of a boost. I was expecting a lot more. Pretty good. It's still a pretty extreme boost, right? This will make... <laughs> Remember, Ethereum now is 100 times faster. Okay, it's a lot. It's not crazy, but it's definitely a lot. Nice. So let this grow. Every click now, soon enough. Oh, we're already at infinite infinity. What? Why? No! How did we get to infinity? Uh. Hmm. That sucks. Is it the cost molt? I think it is. I think it's our cost molt is screwing us up. It can't be the levels, though. I don't know. We can try. Okay. Well, that means in our notation within our biomax, we need to change float to R. I think that's why. I think. Some casting issue within Break Infinity. I I'm guess that's my guess. So if you go to upgrades, it should be. Why is it infinity, though? Why? It shouldn't be infinity. Hmm. Well, that's kind of awkward. It should not be this way. This is big double. This is a big double multiplying by another big double. Why is this infinity, though? This was handling higher costs just fine. Let's make... I really don't think this is it. There's no way... Ugh, I hate to have to do it, like, change stuff around. But there's no way... No freaking way. That's the reason why. That's infinity. So levels are infinity. The base cost doesn't change at all. Great. We're going to comment these out real quick. Now, I'm going to try to solve the issue on my back end. I'll, I'll update you guys once I'm done. Okay. So, for some reason, I guess if your level is an int, that it's just going to screw everything up still. It's going to make everything infinity. Never seen this issue ever. Don't know why this is actually happening. Now, I hope this doesn't interfere with anything in the future. Because if it does, that's not good. That means I would be screwed, and you guys would be screwed, because I taught something invalid. So, that just really blows. That means all of these upgrades, all the levels, int, 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 int. It's got to be a big double now. It's going to be a big boy now. Okay. Well, let's change stuff. So, Mars is good. Uh, player data, we need to make our levels a big double because for some reason, I don't know why that happens. Casting it? What about casting? Can we cast it? Instead of having to change everything? Let's try this instead. So, let's make this an int. Because I really don't feel that's the necessary way to kind of solve this issue. Now, cost molt, sure. Let's make that to a float again, too. Float. Int. Now, honestly, this can be an int because we're using whole numbers, but who knows? We'll probably use some decimal in the future. That's up to you. It's really how you're using it. So just know, don't do exactly what I'm doing. If you want, if you know that your cost molts are forever going to be whole numbers, then use int, okay?
I don't want you guys to just use it because I use it, right? I want you guys to have a reason behind it. So, okay. Let's go here. We don't need to change any of this Bimax stuff, I don't think. We're just going to have to cast it. Like double. Yep, like that. That works perfect. I'm glad there's a casting. Uh, this is a float, though. Can this be a float? So I guess it's not this. It's the issue. It's the level. That's freaking weird. Okay. And hopefully I didn't screw anything else up. Let's try it. Now, I'm afraid that I'm going to have to cast this, too. Should I? No. Let's just give it a shot. Okay, so now we gotta cast more stuff. We gotta cast this Mars per second, because it's an integer. Okay. So that should fix our per second issue. Our cost issue is fixed. So we don't have to change everything in the whole script, we just need to cast the integers, which is good. Oh, why is it still not working? Oh, it's because our infinity. Oh, I see now. Okay. Well, let's just change to one, okay? Seems like we're back in the business. Cool. So I don't know why that happened so late. Ah, uh, is it the Bimax really broken too? I have never, I don't remember ever having this issue. Well, probably because I've never had this issue personally because I use big doubles for everything. Even though I should be using ints and casting them. So we can buy these upgrades just fine, right? These upgrades are no issue. It's the buy max. So we're going to have to cast int inside this too. And once we're done, we recast it. So let's go to our methods class. Let's go to our buy max. In for k, for every k, we're going to cast as a big double. Oh, I don't know what that right outline was. That was pretty severe. Huh. Okay. Weird. So we recast, we cast K as that, and we recast N as an int. That should fix our issue. <sighs> Didn't expect for this to happen. Hey, We're okay now. I love the smooth fill. It's so satisfying to watch. <laughs> like a planets, yeah. This is so every click is like another multiplier. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm guessing this is because of the infinity. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Before you start commenting, n a n n a n a m infinity infinity infinity. Make sure you go back a few minutes and just do what I do. Cast all the ints as big doubles inside the bimax, the equation itself, the cost equation itself, stuff like that. Or else you're gonna be screwed. So let's just do three, three, and one. Okay, cool. <laughs> We're back. Hello. All right. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely sure did. I think this was a pretty interesting one. Anyways, next episode will be soft cap. So daily question of the day. Let's see. Hmm. What's your favorite drink? Comment down below and I'll be sure to answer. I'll be sure to reply to every single comment and heart them. Anyways, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I know I say this a million times, but every single subscriber means a lot to me. Turn on notifications for future videos. Next video, soft cap tomorrow, 6.30 a.m. Mountain Time. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Peace. 5,000 subscribers. Merch.